Synthesia is actually working this week. That's good. <laughs> go and I'm gonna clean that up <laughs> I really hate how this bottle just sort of sprays if you open it when it's near full I also get a coaster. <sighs> hey all. Uh, just gonna be taking requests as usual. Yep, sorta. Feel free to leaf through the set list and pick whatever. <laughs>
That one was uh, Many Thanks, the staff roll theme from Mario Party 7. just joined uh, feel free to shout out any requests if you want to hear anything in particular the song list can be pulled up by doing exclamation point sl and there's no bot or anything just sort of shout stuff up uh, that tune was the gloom from henry hatsworth and the puzzling adventure one of my favorite little little known gems of the ds library fun stuff <laughs>
Xbox, uh, stuff on the set list, uh, specifically. Uh, if you request anything else, I'm not super likely to know it. Yeah, you can pull that up by using exclamation point SL. Uh, that tune was Vanilla Lake from Super Mario Kart by Soya Oka. Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels title screen from Super Mario All-Stars into the uh, title from Paper Mario, which I need to write out a sheet of because apparently I just can't do that beginning part anymore. I've forgotten the chords. <laughs> it's basically just uh, minor chords. It shouldn't be the right.
not used to playing that flourish at the end there. Uh, that was Piranha Plants Lullaby from Super Mario 64 into the Tucson theme from Earthbound. Uh, by Koji Kondo and uh, one of Taichi's uh, Suzuki and Hip Tanaka, probably. <laughs> but I don't have the sheet in front of me, so I don't know for certain. Those were the Oho Ocean Seabed and Tihi Valley themes from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga by uh, Yoko Shimomura. Yeah, I can do the D Dragon Quest prelude theme or whatever it's called.
else have we got here? Uh, thank you, Doc Jeppers. Uh, feel free to shout out any particular requests uh, if you want. I think everything on the Spotify albums I should still be able to play decently well. And there's a set list uh, that you can pull up by typing exclamation SL. was the first level theme from Yoshi's Willy World. Uh, which surf specifically are you referring to, Doc Jeppers? Uh, there is the Johto and the uh, Kalos one on there, I believe. I imagine you mean the gold-silver one, because that's what most people mean. <laughs> Let me look up the Dufrid sheet while I'm at it.
that was the Doofit Town theme from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire by Go Ichinose. Really fun little tune. Yep, hold on. Let me pull up the Surf one. It's been a while since I played the Kalos one, so I'm probably out of practice on that anyway. Hey, Yoshi, what's up? was the surf theme from Pokemon Gold and Silver, also by Go Ichinose. Yeah, feel free to shout out any requests if you want, Yoshi. Uh, I've got the set list uh, set up on uh, exclamation point SL. I should, I, I keep forgetting to add that to the stream title. I wouldn't have to say that repeatedly. Let me fix that real quick. I love that you can edit this right here. that will at least make it somewhat obvious what to do. Probably don't need to have the date in the stream title, because that goes without saying, unless you're watching it back. Oh well. Things to remember next time, hopefully. You can make it incredibly obvious what to do. <laughs> that should suffice. Let me pull something off of VGLS. What's it doing I haven't played in a while? Uh, actually, I think there was a new Animal Crossing theme that I sort of know. It just got uploaded there. Yeah, let me try this at least. This is KK Swing.
seen some of this stuff, apparently. That was recognizable enough. Uh, that's K.K. Swing from the Animal Crossing series, composed by K.K. Slider. <laughs> I guess that means we don't really know who composed it, but we'll go with that. Yeah, all the stuff I haven't played on my sheet should be marked uh, with like a red line, basically. There's, there's a good couple dozen in there that I haven't touched. <laughs> Also, like, anything that says, like, the last time I played was, like, stream 50 or before that, that was, like, pre-pandemic. So, like, there's a good chunk of that. There's probably a good half of that list that I haven't played in a couple of years. Not that I have anything against playing the popular stuff and the stuff that I like to play more frequently than that, but, like, there, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of deep cuts in there. <laughs> Is true. Let me pull that one up. That one is also on videogameleadsheets.com. Or VG Lead Sheets, I should say. Yep, that is not the right tune. Fortree City from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire uh, by Morikatsu Aoki. Yeah, I'm not familiar with too many of their stuff. A bunch of different composers. Yeah, all the rest of the stuff on here, pretty much, other than Route 101, is by Goichi Nose. series I haven't touched on yet. on this, but whatever, I like this tune.
that one is sorry, give me a sec. Uh, that is a uh, card party from Mario Party Five, by Aya Tanaka. Ugh. Yeah, I'm a fan of uh, Ruby S Sapphire's uh, soundtrack. I haven't listened to the remakes as mu uh, very recently, at least, but I recall liking those as well. Yeah, Bird and Dip is great. I can uh, play that one as well. I don't have a sheet of that. It's probably on VGLS already. <laughs> sitting here. This could sit over here just as easily. Uh, that is Verdant Earth Th Town from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, also by Go Ichinose. Spirit Tracks. Let me look that one up real quick. Because that's one that's like, I know from Smash and could probably fake my way through. Just looking at a sheet. This is a one pager. That's good. <laughs>
attempting to be some over transposition stuff to end. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I wanted that to go, but that did not end up correct. But yeah, that is the uh, overworld adventure theme from Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks by uh, Toro Minegishi. Yeah, not familiar with their work either. sense of requests. Let's pick out an old one I haven't played in a while. was the theme for Egg from Game & Watch Gallery 3 uh, by Noriko Nishizaka. Yeah. I really love the soundtrack from that game. I know it's little known and little played these days, I imagine. But Game & Watch Gallery 3 has a lot of really cool little tunes in it. Favorite piece to play varies greatly. Uh, depending on the, the week. Uh, I mean, what I like, I generally end up liking to play... Oh, I don't know. Ah, perhaps the case, Nabadu. Yeah, I think VGLS ended up making a determination that it's like, actual composer information is scant enough for the KK songs. Like, they seem to make it deliberately vague in a lot of cases. That we just attribute them all to K.K. Slider with the understanding that, in fact, that is a fictional character and, like, four or five or more different people are responsible for those compositions. But, like, even the official, like, release of that soundtrack in Japan didn't have any composer breakdown uh, from, like, the, the recent New Horizons soundtrack that came out there. It's an interesting situation. It's a shame that a lot of Nintendo soundtracks are in a similar boat. Like with Return to Dreamland, my favorite soundtrack, or one of them at least, uh, we just have to guess or know from later games in the series uh, which ones were composed by Hirokazu Ando and which were Jun Ishikawa. Splatoon. Interesting. Anyhow. Yeah. Things I really like to play uh, include the Snowman theme from Earthbound, uh... Snowball Scuffle from Return to Dreamland, uh, Skywaltz, a uh, handful of others that are like really fun to play. Uh, Sherbert Land from Mario Kart 64, but I just played that last week if I remember correctly, or last stream at least. <laughs> through here and find one that's just really fun to play independent of how recently I've played it. Uh, this one I'd really like to play recently. We'll do this one. Uh, more Mario Party 5 representation because I love that soundtrack. <laughs>
called In a Strange Land. It's the Sweet Dream uh, party boat map theme from Mario Party 5, uh, also by Aya Tanaka. That is a composer that, as far as I know, only ever worked on that game and that just sort of disappeared off the place of the planet. There's like only a handful of tracks to their name. Or oh, a handful of soundtracks, I should say. I'm gonna turn down my AC. Give me a sec. It is getting hot over here. Huh. And eventually, maybe the cool will make it over this way. Yeah, Nabadu, the, the practice of doing the like little colored notes in the sound test to determine who it was uh, that composed the soundtracks didn't start until the game after Return to Dreamland, unfortunately. But we know from like repeat tracks in the EX stages and whatnot uh, who composed a lot of the stuff from Return to Dreamland because Triple Deluxe had a lot of the uh, same music. Yeah, even, even on the soundtrack release for that. I think the only soundtrack release Return to Dreamland ever got was the Club Nintendo soundtrack, which only had, like, half of the tracks on it. And it was, of course, Japan only, as is the case with a lot of those. Yeah, Super Paper Mario. Like, a lot of the Paper Mario <laughs> composers are very different game to game. It's pretty funny. Trying to think of similar examples. Let's do a thing from Paper or Super Paper Mario while we're at it. Tilt Island for Super Paper Mario by Naoko, Naoko Mitome and Chika Sekigawa. And yeah, Sticker Star has like nine or more, and uh, there is absolutely no attribution of any of the tracks in that, <laughs> so <laughs> you kind of have to just sort of say Sticker Star Sound th Team on those sorts of uh, sheets that are look have a laundry list of composers that goes over the width of the page. Fun stuff. several things I know in G minor, but we'll just not do any of them. Uh, it's not fall yet. We can't play that one.
the Beta Friends theme from Kirby 64, composed by Jun Ishikawa. Anyone else has, have any suggestions? Whatever it is, we can just keep picking stuff for a bit. Yes, you ought, Triple. Anything in particular you want? I know a handful of tracks. I have sheets of fewer of them, but I can fake the rest, probably. Give that one a whirl. Oh, how does that go? I always forget how the beginning of that starts. Mind of a Thief from Mother 3 by Shogo Sakai. Whew. the list. I wrote out a list.
I was looking through my uh, sheet just to see, or my set list sheet just to see which ones I played recently. It's like, I don't think I've played Sunglow Ridge since like 2017 or something. <laughs> like, I attempted it once and I wrote a sheet of it a while back, but I just haven't played it since, I guess. But yeah, that is uh, Sunglow Ridge from Paper Mario Color Splash. Yeah, uh, I haven't... Rainbow Curse is another game that it's like... I was really into that soundtrack back in the day. Uh, that was like one of the first new games I played after moving up to New York. Good six years ago at this point. But yeah, still like the soundtrack, but it's not something that I get requests for terribly often. <laughs> ever official composer breakdowns for Kirby Air Ride, but I imagine a lot of the original stuff from that was probably done by Sakai. Like the, the Air Ride normal track themes. I could be mistaken. Ando could have done some of it, or uh, the other composers that uh, I can't recall offhand. Like Machine Passage, I wouldn't say, is Shogos, likely. <laughs> probably a Journey Shikawa tune, but who knows. Anyhow, we can do something from Rainbow Curse. I wish I had uh, taken note of which of them I have played the least frequently. Yeah, I buy all of those. Uh, not Nebula Belt, though. Interesting. I guess that doesn't quite sound like his his style. How does that how does that one top right tune go? I need to write that one out. Those are some really fun chords. Etc. Um I don't want to do one of the, the ones I have a sheet of for Rainbow Curse, because I know those are ones I play more frequently. How about that one from the, the last one in World 2? One of them, the worst at playing. We'll attempt it. Remember the name of that tune. 
It's like the long lost ruins or the long rust ca lost castle or something like that. From Kirby and the Rainbow Curse by Shogo Sakai and or Megumi Ohara. Yeah, one of those now, but do. Getting the name of my own track. <laughs> this is Stony Seabed, I think, uh, from Super Piano Adventure, the album I did earlier or er, last year. Although the tune predates it by nearly a decade. Um, yeah, we can do that Return to Dreamland one. I've had a sheet for a bit and just not gotten around to playing it. <laughs>
Raise and Ruins Stage 1 theme from Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Composer unknown, but I would assume Jun Ishikawa just from the sound of it. <laughs> Could have been Ando. with that tune is it's really hard to loop. <laughs> That's the castle theme from New Super Mario Brothers Wii. And Daydream, I don't think I'm stopping, like, immediately. I started almost an hour late today. And I'm thinking I might honestly push the start time even further for it than this. It gives me more time to eat and, like, actually, like, get ready. And given that I don't typically do too many other things on Saturdays, I don't really it doesn't really inconvenience me to start at 1 or 1 30 and i think anyone that could have watched before in europe could still watch just as easily case in point you're watching because <laughs> you're still in europe right but yeah i'll still be playing for another 30 minutes or so at least probably <laughs> Yeah, I haven't played New Super Mario Bros. Wii in a very, very long time. Uh, I enjoyed it a, a whole bunch back in the day. But it's probably been nearly a decade since I played it. Thank you. 
one's Cosmic Cove Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2, composed by Mahiro Yokota. I think I missed any suggestions. the world 3 map theme from Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, I could do Gusty Garden. Funny, I was literally just thinking the other day, it's like, you know, I haven't played Gusty Garden on stream since 2017. Somehow, it's been four years before anyone has, has, has last requested it. <laughs> then I turned it down for some reason. It's like, I'm not great at playing it, but I don't know why I would have turned it down unless I thought I played it recently. not the right way to view this. I don't even know if a sheet's going to help me here. It'll probably just confuse me. So the question is, do we play it in, in D-flat as intended? Do we play it in D and cheat? Do we play it in C and cheat upwards with the, the transpose? Do we try some completely different key <laughs> just to mess with everyone? All right, give me a sec here. Just for reference... Whoops, that is the wrong tune. That will not be helpful reference. Let me just go over a few measures here. Okay, that is not how I think of the melody there going. Uh, kind of sounds like the World 3 theme from Galaxy 2, as well as the Green Star theme from that game, Daydream. Yeah, let's try this in, in D-flat and see how it goes.
That one's Gusty Garden Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy, composed by Mahito Yokota. An evergreen classic. tune is Rosalina in the Observatory from Super Mario Galaxy by Koji Kondo, which I had forgotten, apparently. That's interesting. Not one of the illustrious Nintendo composers, as they come, honestly. Was there for like zero games and then no, none after that. Yeah, it's funny, like, I, I wouldn't guess some of the things that uh, Kondo's done for later Mario games, because he still does occasional compositions, but he hasn't done like a full Mario soundtrack since 64, I don't think. Like, he did the Lake Lamode theme from uh, Odyssey, which kind of surprised me. Yeah, glad you could make it, Jeppis. I'll take at least a handful of more requests if folks have them. See a Jeppes.
Yeah, that was the title screen from Kirby's Dream Course by Hirokazu Ando. Or attempting to be it, at least. There's some, <laughs> there some really in interesting notes there. Yeah, there, there's the standards, uh, Daydream. There, there's good old Skywaltz, which I have played in several streams, I don't think. So it wouldn't be remiss. Uh, there is... Is the Waltz of the Booze, at least in name. I, I assume that is an actual waltz in Gusty, or in a <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy, rather. Uh, there's the 3D World Ghost House theme as well. There are, I'm sure, others. There's some Vizgaroldi stuff. I already played the one from Mario Party 5 earlier. <laughs> others I'm forgetting. Snowbell City could be played like one, I suppose, even though it doesn't really feel like one normally. Yeah, we'll just do the old classic, I guess. Unless you have a specific request otherwise. <laughs> Skywaltz from Kirby's Return to Dreamland by Hirokazu Ando. Whew.
actually this one fairly recently. I'm, I'm going to look it up again. So this one is just really fun to play. Yeah, that was Calabari Desert from Mario Kart 64 by Kenta Nagata. Yeah, that's one that I probably wouldn't have ever thought to pick up if it weren't already on VG Lead Sheets. And it's <laughs> it's a fun little reharm because like there's definitely some parts that dipper in the in the second half. Yeah, we can attempt to read the uh, Koopa Troopa Beach theme. I haven't read read that one in a while. <laughs>
that's Koopa Troopa Beach uh, from Mario Kart 64, also by Kenta Nagata. Yeah, let's look up that uh, link to the past sheet. Uh, I think I'll cut it off after a couple more requests. These, these things get hard to edit. They get much longer than two hours. Link to the past. Has a whole The Legend of Zelda in front of it, which apparently sorts by the <laughs> on VG lead sheets. Which I guess, I mean, that that's kind of the natural way to do it. <laughs> You're going to have to gonna have to bear with me on this first part and I just sort of skip most of it what this chord cluster is. It is nutty, for sure. say I was there for the day that we did test jams on this <laughs> for VG lead sheets and it's like how do you rank difficulty on the the harmony here it's like yes it's completely like uh, non-functional but it's also all minor sevenths so like those aren't that hard to find <laughs> it's just like that one uh that one we we tune that is literally all major sevenths <laughs> Was, that was uh, the Lost Ancient Ruins theme by Koji Kondo from Link to the Past. Yeah, I'll take a couple more requests, then we'll cut it off. I mean, yeah, it's all sevenths, but it's also more functional, I think. It may not be exactly that, but it's basically that, and that's just a circle of fifths. <laughs> uh, let me... Whoops, that is not the button I was supposed to hit. <laughs> uh, let me find my sheet music folder back, and then let me uh, open up the VG lead sheets 
sheet for that. <sighs> I wish there were a version of this that weren't in G flat, because I, I guess I could try it. <sighs> Let's try it, <laughs> and then give up and play an F instead. Trying to play this exactly as written is quite hard. <laughs> I'll fake it if I'm playing in, in uh, a key that I'm more familiar with. Yeah, the problem with Wallaby is basically just a circle of fifths as well. Yeah, I played that one earlier, so I won't do it again. Link to the Past theme was <laughs> remixed in Sonic Lost World? That's interesting. I know they got, like, Nintendo-themed DLC, but I really don't know anything about that game otherwise. Looks like a Yoshi stage or something as well. One more requests. If not, we'll just cut it off now. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, that dungeon theme gets remixed a ton. Like, I think various dungeons in Link to the Past have that. Uh, not Link to the Past. Obviously, Link to the Past. <laughs> uh, Link's Awakening also have that kind of. And technically, even Breath of the Wild shrines have that sort of uh, like background motif to them been around for quite a while. I will give you guys like one more minute. seconds. Ten seconds and I'll play the final tune. <laughs> Quick, shout anything out. Alrighty then. 
So yeah, for, from now on I'll probably start doing streams around 1.30 my time, just to give myself more time to eat, and I can't imagine there are too many time zones where that's going to be less convenient, really. Uh, Ballad of the Windfish. Okay, we can do that one. More, more Zelda stuff. Yeah, there's actually a pretty high incidence rate of Zelda tunes I know and Zelda tunes that are on VGLS. They're nearly a 100%, like, one is nearly 100% a subset of the other. This particular one I actually put on there. Good little tune. But, yeah. We'll do the usual one more non-requested tune. This is one I just wrote a sheet out of yesterday. <laughs>
that there's the staff roll theme, also called Many Thanks. So bookending the beginning of the stream from Mario Party 4 by Ichiro Shimokura. This was a Mario Party happy stream, as they tend to be. Because <laughs> I really do like a lot of tunes from those middle Mario parties. But yep, that'll be it for the stream. Uh, we'll probably keep doing these bi-weekly-ish, depending on schedule. But again, later. Because later is better. So starting at 1 at 1.30-ish from now on. Yep, I'll be around on Discord if you want to chat, drop uh, suggestions for things to look into before my next stream. And I do have one special thing planned for sometime next month, but uh, not going to reveal anything about that just yet. So we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, this has been Dadius64. I'll see you guys around.